Hello guys, welcome back in my Let's Platinum Lightning's Return Returns, sorry, Final Fantasy 13. Uh, we're having a lot of fun in Yusnan. Uh, we're going around and picking up treasures, starting side quests and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, let's let's continue. Let's just kill them. Oh shit. I'll bring back lost time. They can heal each other, that's gonna be a pain. Wasn't as bad as I was expecting it to be. Area sweep. Medigard. Ooh. That might be something interesting. Uh, poor Olga can't sing anymore. Normally, she can make angels weep with that beautiful voice of hers. Who's that? She cannot sing? I can tell you're pretty okay. upset. Want to tell me about it? What good would that do? You can't teach me how to sing again, can you? You forgot how to sing? My voice is just gone. I can't hold a note anymore. Are you sure you're not sick or something? My heart may be. The cruel bastard, he left me. And you think he took your voice with him? You don't understand what it is to perform, do you? He's not just my lover. He's written all my best hits. We were an unbeatable partnership. But then he up and left, leaving nothing but his songs behind. I tried to sing them, but I'm so angry at him, I just can't get the words out. So you're not heartbroken, just angry? I don't expect you to understand. You're right about that. I don't understand at all. Wait a second. Would you be willing to go and find him for me? I'll make it worth your while. My word is good, I promise. Why are you asking me? <laughs> because there's no danger he'd fall for you and forget about me. Okay. Don't hate me if he does fall for me. <laughs> if he does, I'll hunt you down, tear your hair out, and claw your eyes. Do I make myself clear? Anyway, his uh, name is Birdie. He's the kindest, most gentle man in the whole city. He should be easy to find in a sea of undesirable men. That's really not much of a lead, but I'm willing to help you okay. out. Okay. I see Birdie. I don't know. Hey, why are you running from me? I just want to talk. I, I don't know any Olga. Uh, I mean... <laughs> It doesn't take a genius to figure out you know her. Do you know anything else about her? Like, where her missing lover is? 
Oh, I can't keep the secret for any longer. I just can't. I have to confess it to someone, and it might as well be you. I'm her lost lover. Is this your idea of a joke? No, it's true, I swear. My name is Birdie. You know, the songwriter? I promised her my undying love, but now I don't dare face her. I unwittingly lost the 354th song I wrote for her. Wait a minute. Did you say 354? That's a <sighs> lot of songs. Well, you know, I had a few centuries. You didn't run out of ideas? Ideas come easy. I picture my Olga, and the melodies just come to me fully formed, as if from another world. Huh. Better to be lucky than good, I guess. But a dark cloud has blotted out the sun of our radiant love. In the form of a frightful monster that suddenly attacked me and stole that song away. Which, incidentally, brings me to the favor I want to ask. I'm sure you can guess what it is. Why don't you spell it out for me, just to be sure. Well, I was thinking that you could get my music back from that, uh, monster. I'd give you a reward, please? You and Olga, neither of you mind asking strangers for favors, do you? Okay, retrieving the satchel. Brady said was stolen. Head to the far end of Central Avenue, go down the steps. Okay. There's something I just don't get. He said he's written. This city makes even the poorest people dream of a glittering life of excess. But you can't truly enjoy this city unless you already have money. And I mean serious money. Why can't he just write a new one? Now that you mention it. I didn't even think to ask. I just got caught up in their little game. Hello and welcome. We keep only the best in stock here. Since you already agreed to help, let's go and find this music of his. Losers weepers! I'm off to find myself a date. What? All right. Give it back. Huh? Give what back? What are you talking about, lady? I can get rough, if that's how you want to play it. Ugh. Do you always go around bullying kids? Go on, take your stupid stuff. I don't want it. Okay. and they will give you firework choco choco <laughs> Desert flame. Okay. If you want money. Oh. What do you have, man? Dinger, Cyclops, Saltis. <coughs> okay. Do visit us again. Get rid of those guards. Whoa. They're all at 
attacking me. Hmm. Should I fight them? I'm thinking about something. Uh, actually, I'm gonna switch. Well, I'm not sure that if I have fire. Just level one. Ooh, firestorm. Uh, fire, firestorm. Deals fire and wind attribute magic, then summon tennisly to a target. Uh, and gets magic up as well. Stagger power. Oh, yeah, let's take it. Force your way in the land. Come on, open. If you don't have an ID, you're never getting into the Augur's Quarter. If you really want to see one of the shows they hold there, you don't have much choice but the tour guide. The tour guide sneaks groups of tourists in through the back route to see the show in the Augur's Quarter. Trust me, he's not that hard to find. In fact, he's about the easiest person to spot. I think we've got it now. How good of you okay. to come and visit our glittering city. This right here is the Augur's Quarter. The gate to the Augur's Quarter is locked, and that's blocking you from the palace. If you don't have the proper ID, it'll be impossible to get through the front gate. There are a lot of popular attractions in the Augur's Quarter. People want to see them, and it looks like there's a back route that people without IDs can use to get inside. Hail there, my stylish lady. You're just dying to see this show, aren't you? You can try to hide it, but I know what a woman wants. Maybe, maybe not. Either way, I don't have an ID to reach the theater. No worries about that. I can get you a special ticket at a special price. A ticket, huh? Oh, you playing innocent. I'm sure you know about the sneaking in special. I help the poor visitors to our fair city, people who don't have the requisite IDs. To see our most famous site, the show in our illustrious theater, and I'm the only option they've got. So I buy a ticket and you get me in to see the show, and I've nothing to go on but your word. My word is good, but I can't offer any guarantees. I mean, who knows if you'll make it back alive? That depends on Lady Luck. So put your trust in Fortuna and your money in my pocket. Fine, but how about a few more details? I knew you were up for it. All right. Let me explain to you the brilliance of my little tour, shall I? It starts next to the monorail track. You know, the one that carries supplies from the industrial area. Up on that track, you'll find some of the best views in the city. If you know where to look, that is. I can take you up on the track from the industrial area and get you set up all nice and comfy. A perch with a view. You'll be able to see the auger's quarter and the theater. Sounds easy enough. So where does Lady Luck come into it? Well, the tour's not without danger. The chaos infusions have been hitting the industrial area real hard these days. 
you might have to fight more than just desperate tourists on your way to the best seats. I don't guarantee your safe arrival or return. All I guarantee is I'm the only way in. Not that it looks like you have plans of actually sitting down and watching a thing, my lady. What are you trying to say? Nothing. None of my business to say where you might be going or who you might be going after. I'm sure the savior plays her cards close to her chest. Gee, was it the posters around town that tipped you off? I could sell you out to the palace guard, you know, make a pretty profit. I guess you'll also have to depend on your luck to see that I don't just do that, hmm? Now, don't you feel like coughing up and buying a ticket to my tour? I'll even give you a special price, just for you. Two thousand. Okay. If you want to betray me to the authorities, go ahead. But watch your back if you do. Ooh, look out for the big bad savior! A ticket for one! Time's on the ticket, be in the industrial area by then or you'll miss your chance for the show. One of my helpers will be in front of the gate to the industrial area. Give them that ticket, and they'll take real good care of you. You know the area, right? Past Central Avenue, and then across the sand in the lower city. We leave on the dot, so don't you dawdle, or you'll have to wait for the next tour. Thank you for your business, my good lady. Okay. 6 p.m. It's popular with tourists, but most visitors just can't get their hands on an ID, so they find another way to see it. From a pretty lofty perch. Lofty? There's a monorail near the palace that the supply train runs on. Let me guess, the enterprising tourists sneak into the auger's quarter along that track, right? That's right. It's the back route we've been looking for. Of course, the crooks who run the tours will most likely have people watching the entrance. You should find that so-called tour guide right away and get the whole scoop. Okay, need to buy something from Outfitter, we need to buy a Quiet Guardian. Why? Because it has physical and magical, magical resistance, nice. And heavy guard. Okay, I'm gonna take that, definitely. The champion's quarter, where blood flows and the crowds roar. What? Or here, man and monster bet their lives to entertain the masses. A pit of violence and aggression. And lately, it's only been getting worse. Okay. It seems there have been more and more deaths. Okay. I'm so nervous, I can't stand it. Dispel level two. I've been watching these fights for the What's the point in watching people be Palace guards are conducting a search for the intruder, calling herself the savior. She has rose colored hair and is carrying an enormous weapon. <laughs> she has pink, <laughs> pink hair and carries enormous weapon. That was fucking awesome. Oh. Okay, so we can get that treasure here. Where was it? Okay, 
So now to get to that area Industrial area, that's what it is So I need to go down here and instead of going down go up Chat to this guy. Why, don't tell me your pocket was picked despite my warnings. Yeah, just like a damn tourist. It was a kid, and he knew what he was doing. A young boy, was it? Huh. Then he's still up to his old tricks. I know the lad, and his is a sorry tale. Not likely to hear a sadder one in all of Yusnan. If I compensated you, would you be so good as to forget this happened? You're sure it was this kid? Yes, it could be none other than the orphan boy Pickett. Then maybe he should be punished. He needs to learn that stealing is wrong. You see, the poor boy has lost both of his parents. Have you no sympathy at all? I've got plenty. He's not the first person in this world to lose someone they love. Have you... Uh, have you lost family too? Maybe. You have, haven't you? I can tell. Then you can help the boy. Someone like you will be able to reach out to him. I need you to give him this letter. It's from his father, who gave it to me for safekeeping. It's the only thing he left his son. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stolen things. Quest accepted. I'll do it. But I don't see why you can't give it to him yourself. How did you know his father anyway? We were both hunters who tracked ferocious monsters. But then Pickett's father was killed and his death was my fault. And so he refuses to accept the letter from my hands. Please, won't you give Pickett the letter from his father? It may help him end his criminal ways and get his life back on track. Okay. I'm gonna go north this time. Oh Jesus, why I didn't hit him? Satchel, okay, we needed that for and we got fire thunder. The satchel you recovered from the monster that has to be birdies, which means the music and okay. side must be the song he wrote for Olga. I'm curious to hear it. Let's just get it back to him, all right? Come on, sure thing. Birdie should be in the Reveler's quarter. My guess is he's waiting somewhere around the fountain there. OK. 
Okay, there is an item here. Okay, giant Van Brace. Okay, so now we need to return to the actual statue area or whatever and return all those quests we finished. And uh, we're going to be done with Yusnan. Actually, no, we need to make the guy um, that, yeah, that kid steal stuff from us. We're not gonna follow with the main quest just yet. This playthrough is all about efficiency. Whoa. So that kid was here. You press this? Yes. I've got the music for you. Now play me the song. Hey, thanks, Lightning. Okay, here goes. future seemed to be. Keeping hope alive gave you the strength to make tomorrow a better place. I can see you now like it was yesterday, humming the song softly to yourself. Tell me, Sarah, can you hear it now? Are you somewhere close watching me remember you? Okay, so that's, that's one fair. story. So the patron was her fiancé, and this was one of her favorite songs, and it must mean a lot to him. It would bring back a lot of memories. By the way, what's the song called? It's called Miracles. You want to do me a favor? Keep playing it as often as you can. Maybe he'll be able to hear it. It'll do him good. Sure, no problem. I doubt he can hear me down here, but I won't stop playing it, just in case. Miracles do happen sometimes, right? Okay. Crown of Yav. Ooh. Eight to strength. Maybe music has made me overly sentimental, but I think his music will help some of the people in this town. It's a perfect message for times like this. The world may be about to end, but miracles can still happen if you believe. Hope you might be right. Who knows? Music can be a very powerful thing. Uh, music such. Thank you. Okay. I can finally return to Olga and present her with my new song. all this time don't you realize that people were actually worried Olga my love be still my beating heart to hear your dulcet tones again it's a dream come true uh. oh it was very clever of me to ask for your help thank you for bringing birdie back safe and sound we artists are cursed with sensitive souls and our hearts are easily broken. So that's how you treat sensitive souls, huh? If you're talking about the way I speak to Birdie, everything I say comes from love. In any case, I owe you a favor. Olga shall sing for you. It's your favorite song, or so I'm told. How would you know my favorite song? It's not a bad song, it has its moments. But it doesn't compare to the sublime melodies that Birdie writes. Is he really as good as you say he is? Absolutely. Of course, I'd never tell him that. His head is already big enough as it is. Now I have a song to sing for an audience of one. I hope you feel grateful. 
This is a very, very rare treat, you know. Normally, I only sing for Birdie or a paying audience, and I assure you, tickets to my shows are not cheap. Um, thanks, but tell me one thing. How do you know my favorite song? Who did you talk to to find out? A young girl called herself Lumina. Now, Evans, if you would. Okay. Nice. Okay. Thank you so much. It really is wonderful to hear Olga singing like an angel once again. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's always been her favorite. I wonder if she can hear it, wherever she is. Halasgars are conducting a search for the intruder calling herself the savior. She has I'm not going to make you give back what you stole. It belongs to you anyway. Did you notice? Huh? What is it? A letter? Officer. And it's addressed to me? Oh, yeah? Huh. It's from my old man. What am I supposed to do with this? Why are you asking me? It's yours now. Throw it away for all I care. Damn right I'll throw it away. And I don't need your permission either. Listen, I'm not gonna pretend I understand. It must be hard for you. Losing your parents. Then being trapped in a child's body for centuries and centuries all alone. Th that's right. You can't understand. No one can. Let me tell you something. I lost my parents, but it wasn't the same. I still had my sister. I wasn't left all on my own. I was luckier than you. So, your parents are dead too? Yeah. It happened a long time ago, but I remember being really angry. People pitied me, treated me like a helpless child. I couldn't stand it. So, I pushed people away and built walls around me, but I still had my sister. She understood me. It's not fair. I didn't have anyone. I was left all alone. I know. If it were me, I couldn't have done what you did. You're a lot stronger than I am. You've done an amazing thing, going through that and surviving all these years. You should be proud of yourself. I should? I've never felt proud about anything. But when you put it like that, maybe I should be proud. Um, okay, so we're going to return this. Uh, return this quest and we are done in here. Our main task now is to get back to Luxerion and get to the south station before uh, 9 p.m. So need to do that it's important i gave the letter to pick it although i guess it's more accurate to say he stole it off me he did um but you know what it might be the last thing he steals i saw him just a little while ago and something was different about him he seemed proud holding his head high why he reminded me of his father i think his criminal days might be over you did the right thing helping that child Maybe you shouldn't call him that. Child, I mean. He seems more mature than other kids. If you treated him more like the young man that he's become, he might listen to you. Yes, you're absolutely right. 
Of course. The next time I see little Pickett, I shall address him not as a child of my dear friend, but as a man in his own right. Thank you so much for all your help. Okay. HP strength magic. Great. So we have a lot of time actually, as you can see, it's only 6, uh, uh, 7.30 is the um, last time uh, you can leave because it will give you 30 minutes to get from North Station to South Station. So, are you taking the train? I am. So yeah, we're gonna uh, arrive in Luxarion now and I'm gonna take a break. So what we need to do is to get to South Station uh, within uh, before 9 p.m. So that, that shouldn't be a problem at all. It's gonna be 9.45, we have one hour, um, 15 minutes, so. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do that in the next episode. So let me get here. And we're gonna make a save here and take a break. Alright guys, as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.